Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we're driving north on U.S. Highway 11 in Rockbridge County, Virginia. We begin at mile 197 as the road winds back and forth here, following a series of valleys through a mountainous area. The road is in a 2 plus 1 configuration, with the passing lane alternating from side to side. The elevation is about 1,000 feet above sea level here, and will climb a couple hundred feet as we approach the city of Lexington but the climb will become much more drastic in the last few miles of today's video. After crossing the Maury River, which is the low point on the chart, we'll climb nearly 700 feet. Here we come to a crossroads and US 11 turns right to bypass the city of Lexington. Straight ahead is the Lexington business route. We'll cross the Lexington city limits a bit further on up the road. Lexington lies at the junction of our US 11 and US 60, another of the major US highways that runs almost entirely across the United States. Lexington is an independent city, not part of any county, yet serves as the county seat of Rockbridge County even though they're separate jurisdictions. The city is named for Lexington, Massachusetts, where the first shot of the American Revolution was fired. Today, Lexington mainly relies on two key industries, higher education and tourism. Due to its rich ties to the Civil War, Lexington attracts visitors from across the nation. Notable attractions in the area include the Stonewall Jackson House, University Chapel, George C. Marshall Museum, Virginia Military Institute Museum, Museum of Military Memorabilia, and the Downtown Historic District. Hull's Drive-In Theater is a unique draw and holds the distinction of being the first community-owned nonprofit drive-in theater in the United States. Additionally, the Virginia Horse Center, a nonprofit organization, serves as a major hub for regional equestrian events. Alongside these attractions, Lexington boasts a variety of small retail stores, bed and breakfast accommodations, and restaurants that cater to a diverse clientele comprising locals, tourists, and college students. The historic Robert E. Lee Hotel, originally constructed in the 1920s, underwent extensive renovations and reopened as the Gin in late 2014, marking a new chapter in its storied history. We cross the Maury River on the Veterans Memorial Bridge, leaving the city limits of Lexington. As mentioned earlier, we're at a low point here, with the riverbanks being at about 1,000 feet above sea level. Throughout the remainder of this video, 8 miles, we'll climb over 700 feet.
Here we cross Interstate 64. Now throughout all of Virginia and some of Tennessee, we've been running alongside Interstate 81, and we still are with I-81 being just to our east. I-64 has a junction with I-81 just east of here, and it runs north concurrent with I-81. So the next couple of interchanges US-11 will have with the interstate will be with both I-64 and I-81. Anyway, it was here, just north of I-64, that, disgusted with the rain, we decided to stop for lunch at a Ruby Tuesday. The weather did not improve over the 45 minutes or so that we were stopped, but we decided to push on. conclude today's video at mile 211. Thanks for watching. 
We've enabled channel memberships, so for as little as $1 a month, you too can help support our channel and get early access to our regular videos, as well as the occasional members only video. Click the link in the description to join. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.